Okay, great. Now that we have a chicken that's rideable and that could be steered with a bow, why don't we go ahead and change the loot tables of one of the entities so that we can get bow and arrows when we kill that entity. And let's pick something we're not really good friends with, like how about the spider? So I'm going to go here and find the spider JSON file. And if we take a look at that, what I'm going to do is control F to start to do a search here and type loot. And you can see here it, it finds two occurrences. So loot and loot are right here. But you can see the path to the loot table for the spider. So let's go to that path. Here on the left hand side, I'm going to minimize the entities folder. And now I'm going to open up loot tables and then open up entities. And then here is the spider loot table right here. So open that up. And the loot table we'll cover in more detail later. So we'll just make some simple changes here. So just be careful and follow along with the changes that I'm making here for right now. So instead of string, let's double click that and then change that to a bow. So B-O-W. And then the count, it will give you normally the string, it'll give you anywhere from zero to two strings. So sometimes you'll get nothing. So the minimum will make one and the maximum will make one. That will guarantee us to get one bow. Now on the next section over here, we have a spider eye. So let's highlight that, change that to arrow. And then we will change the count on that one to 16 for the minimum and 16 for the maximum. That means we'll be guaranteed to get 16 arrows and one bow every time we kill a spider. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then we'll check the JSON in the linter. So let's go to select, select all, and then copy. Go to our linter. Clear the last code that was in there. Right click, say paste, and then lint. And there we go. It's good to go. So let's go back over here, make sure it's saved. And now our behavior for the loot table is defined and ready to go.